Okay, hello everyone. I'm back, finally. Sorry I've been gone a ways. i uh, gone for a while. I did, um, I had to finish my last semester of school to get my bachelor's and it was hectic and very hard for me to get through so I quit recording videos right in the beginning of the semester, I think. I also had a lot of company. I've had a lot of activities, a lot of catching up to do. I had some art projects that I've been working on, so it was hard for me to get back into recording. But I think I want to start off my first video with showing you some of my Copic markers and other alcohol-based markers that I've acquired during the semester because I wanted to get into them, I wanted to see what they were about and, and you are, that's my most popular video so far is where I was testing out Copic markers for the first time so I thought people might be interested to see what I've got and what I've, maybe what I've been doing with them uh, mostly I kind of use them for mixed media. I, I like to use them with colored pencils. I like to use them with Sharpies. Um, I like to use them with um, mechanical pens, colored mechanical pencils. I've used them with paint. I've used them with Micron pens. I think I have yet to use them solely just Copic markers, which that's fine with me because I have to um, use what I can use to get the effect that I want. And I'm since I'm still learning, I don't know what that is yet, so I just experiment mainly. But anyway, I bought about one, two, three, four, five sets of Copic, mar Copic markers and I bought them in sets so that I could use them to blend easier and have more colors. Um, I'll probably get some more Copic markers but it's going to be slow. I've also found some more um, artist alternatives that I bought because the ones that I bought previously a lot of them I ruined the tip on. And I think there's about five or six sets of these color families. Like there's the um, the basic five uh, primary colors. There's uh, shades of green and blue and purple, I think, and also gray, which I've never had the gray. I do also have some artist loft and gray though because I bought it it was cheaper and you got several in the pack and they won't work okay they're pretty juicy they're of course not I don't like them as well as I do the Copics or the um, artist alternatives but they work in a pinch and I did also buy uh, artist loft um, blending marker and I didn't find that it worked at all. I don't know. Maybe I got a bad one and it was dried up, but I really couldn't get it to do much. But anyway, let me show you some of my sets here. I've got, I bought five sets called Color Fusion Number no. 6, which is basically these blue ones. Um, B01, B04, and B06. So this is what kind of what this is what the box looks like. Came in a set of three. And then I also bought some green ones. And a couple of, uh, it's called Color Fusion number five. And that's how the number it's of what set it is, that's not how many's in the set. And so we got a G40, a G43. Okay, this is the G40. G43. G43. 
G46, I think. It's hard for me to read this because I have low vision. But anyway, the, the color of the pen doesn't exactly completely match the color swatch on the container. But it's close enough. And then I bought number two RV00, RV52, and RV55. So that's kind of what they look like. And then I bought number three and number four. Number three is kind of it's kind of a pinky purpley one. And it's RV sixty three, sixty six, and sixty nine. And then the four uh, let's see, I think I got it mixed up here. Oh. No, that's the one. Okay, this is Y R twenty, Y R twenty-three. Oops, I got them um uh, put the wrong box over here. And Y R twenty seven. So they kind of go in this order. The colors. So they don't look like the swatch on the box. Especially the middle one. It's a lot brighter looking on the cap. And then I've also bought color, oh I bought, bought Blending Trio number four. Now that's why it looks a little different. And Blending Trio number three, I have one of those colors. They're a little, little different. But I have actually lost one. I had R12, R14, and R17. And I cannot find it. And I have been looking. So hopefully it'll turn up. If not, I might have lost it in class. I took some to class one time, I think. So hopefully it's going to turn up. Because I had to lose one of those markers. They are very expensive and hard to replace. For me, anyway, especially. And then I bought this extra one at Michael's because I had a project in mind I wanted to use with this kind of a deep red. It's R29. Uh, I cannot read the name. Lipstick Red. That's the name of it. I kind of loved that color. I kind of wanted to use it to draw some strawberries. In which I did draw those strawberries, but turned out I didn't hardly use this color. I used a lot of different colors including some sharpies. But anyway, what I'm going to do is make some swatches so I know what kind of markers that I have so I can begin to add to them and so that I can begin to buy refills much easier. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a micron pen if I can find one. or some kind of pen. Mm -hmm. I just saw a micron pen a minute ago. The right. all my, I haven't really um, put all my pins back together yet from class. So I'm still a little bit scared. And plus, I've been making other art projects. Okay, here we go. Here's one, I guess. Alright. 
Okay, we're going to do the B's first because that's the number that I'm started with. So, I'm going to do B01. B04 and I'll probably eventually print out one of their sheets online when I get some more markers just I think this will benefit me more right now so that's kind of a, and they're kind of not real juicy right now I've used them quite a bit on different projects so that one's still pretty juicy love those blues can't wait to add some more of the blues so yeah they they match the cap the color on the caps pretty, pretty darn good so there's those, the bees, and then I guess I'll do the greens next. Just kind of try to go in alphabetical order if I can. G40, G43, and G46. And now I like these colors too. You know, I really don't like this chisel nib that much. I would prefer it if it had a bullet nib on the end. A brush on one end and a bullet on the other because I use the bullet quite a bit getting in tight spaces and I don't use the chisel nib that much occasionally. So that's pretty and they match the caps pretty good too. I'd say that's maybe a little lighter. But you know, see these are the um, artist alternative at coloring is also some people call them at coloring, but um, can't see it on this one. I ruined the nib when I was experimenting. I, I did it on a lot of them, but they're a little more, they're a lot cheaper than the. Copic. So, if I can get this open, I'll show you what a new one looks like. Uh, brush nib, bullet nib. I prefer that setup. So I wish we had that choice in Copics. Alright, I did the blue and I did the green. So, what is next? Um, we've got RV, RV, R12, and YR. Okay, let's do the R. And remember, I said one of these are missing, so I, th I think it's this one. Okay, R12. Okay. Can't find it. Where is it? Okay. I'm scatterbrained today. Sorry. R12. Okay. It looks. Okay, we got. R12, R14, and we also, I had R17, but that's the one I can't find. I'll go ahead and write it on here because hopefully it will turn up when I get my room cleaned up a little better. It's kind of oranges. And now, Let's do the RV00, zero zero, Color Fusion 2, RV00, 
V52. And RV55. So, this one I don't think is going to show up very well because I've used it quite a bit. Plus, it's really light. So, I don't know if you can see that. Or, maybe you can. And then the RV52. I like these pinks. They're really nice. Okay. This is kind of helpful. I wish I'd have done this already. <laughs> I'm slow to the party, I guess. Okay, now we have... RV 63, RV 66, and RV 69. Now, some of these are actually pretty, you know, they will blend with other colors. They don't have to be exactly right next door. See, this will go with those really good. darker but that one would work too and then this one very nice Oop. all right that was blending trio three I don't think I am doing this very well I hope you can see I'm still kind of new at this filming business all right and then the last one of these, we got YR20, YR23, and YR27. YR20. I just, when I bought these, I chose a variety of colors that I thought that I would use the most until I could build up a collection. So I had a pretty good um, selection I think. So I think these R, YRs would look good with these R's. When, you, when it goes to blending and things like that. At least some of them will work together. Alright. Okay, that's all my Copics except for the one I lost. So I've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Minus one that's lost. Okay, down here I'm just going to do my Artist Loft. Okay. We have, these are in the gray tones. And kind of hard for me to see, but uh, let me get over here. I will read them to you. I have a CCTV over here on my right that will help me read these better. We've got N2, which is neutral gray 2. For some reason I have two of those. I didn't realize that. Maybe I bought two packs. And then I have in five neutral gray well I just accidentally turned my CCTV off so that's what's going on over here neutral gray five in eight neutral gray eight 
And then N10 black. And N6 neutral gray six. Let me take a second look at that. Maybe I read that wrong. Maybe that's a. I think I did. No, for some reason I have two neutral grays instead of a neutral, an N3, neutral gray 3. It may be also lost, or maybe they accidentally gave me two in a package. I have no idea. I just now realized that I did not know that. I thought I at one time had a 3. But maybe it's been maybe it's been that color this whole time. Cause I do not see a three anywhere. Anyway, let me get on with this. I'm dragging this out. Okay, we got Oh, wait. Here's an N3. Okay. I just accidentally picked it up, so I don't know what's going on. Okay. We got N3. N2. Maybe, oh, you know what? I think I just got the caps mixed up is what's going on. Actually, you know what? That's exactly what's going on. I may have done that actually uh, with some of my other markers. I hope not. Okay, here we go. Now I got it. <laughs> I guess that pays to check it. Okay, those are the same. That one's the same. And eight. And eight. All right. All the rest of these are the same. Okay. So let's start with two. That was kind of a dumb. See, I've used this one quite a bit. But it's pretty light anyway. That's why I used it. And three. Oh, that one's almost out. So, and as far as I know, you have to buy these again. I don't think they're refillable at all. So, this is kind of a waste of time. I should have done it while they were new, maybe. dark juicy grays if you like to um, draw in gray tones they're really not, some of them are really the darker ones I guess are really good see I really wore these out and there's the black because the, what happens is some of my alcohol markers especially the um, the cheaper ones I will use them on textured watercolor paper. Sometimes I I like to draw on that. I'm going to use the chisel nib to see if I can get a better swatch here. Yeah, that's quite a bit better. That shows you better what's going on. I'll try it with this one also, the N3. doesn't look a lot different. I just think it's probably because they're not very juicy, but it's hard to tell the difference between. Actually, 
on this Bristol board. It's hard to tell the difference between these three, really. But on some of my watercolor paper, it, it you can really tell it. Now, I'm probably not going to swatch my other mark. I don't know. Maybe I will. Because a lot of them I have some duplicates now. And then some of them I've worn out. So maybe I'll wait till I refresh all of my sets. I will do a swatch of the new ones before they get worn out. And I also, as you know, I didn't realize it, but Sharpies blend very well. They're, they're alcoholic based. They're a lot brighter. You don't really get many pastel colors, but they really work well. Okay, what do we got here? We have YR13. Very pretty. We have, I'm just picking them up since they're the, pri the bright primary light colors. I mean, they're not completely primary. Okay. R8. These are the ones that just came in the set. Let's see, they're so bright and pretty. Y12. And then the green, just BG8. I guess it's more of a blue green. Alright, those are the new ones. Like I said, I don't, and these, and here they are. Here's the red, well, some of them are repeats, some of them have got used up and thrown away. And so there's not really any use of swatching them till I plan on buying. There's usually they come in five sets, like I said, five markers in a set. So they're like five. The ones besides these are closer in color. They're like blending trios, or not trios, but blending. Okay. I don't know what I was saying. They come in sets of five. The other ones are closer in color. Like you get several colors of greens and blues and pinks and purples. I don't remember all the sets. I know there's a gray set. There's this set. There's blue, green, and pink and purple, I think. So I'm going to order all of those eventually. I have to order a little at a time. They're about ten dollars a pack for five. I wish they had more colors but they have a nice selection. So that's it for my color swatching. I have my Copics, my Artist Law, and my Artist alternatives. At coloring. Alright. I think that's all for now.